North Carolina, Mr. Butterfield, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise to express the utter outrage of the Congressional Black Caucus regarding the Calvert Amendment, uh, which is scheduled for later this afternoon, which is an amendment to the Interior Appropriations Bill. Uh, that amendment would allow Confederate imager imagery to remain on graves on federal lands. Don't Republicans understand that the Confederate battle flag is an insult to 40 million African Americans and to many other fair-minded Americans? The Confederate battle flag, Mr. Speaker, is intended to defend a dark period of American history, a period when four million blacks were held as slaves, held as property, as chattel, not as human beings. The slaves were bought and sold and mortgaged and gifted as chattel. And this period, Mr. Speaker, this period of enslavement continued for more than 200 years and did not legally end until December 6, 1865. Here's the history, Mr. Speaker. Following President Lincoln's election in November of 1860, 12 southern states ceded from the Union in response to their belief that President Lincoln would free the four million slaves. South Carolina was the first state to cede from the Union on December 20th, right after Lincoln's election. These southern states formed the Confederate States of America. They uh, empowered a military, elected a president, uh, adopted a constitution, uh, adopted a currency. They engaged in a brutal, brutal civil war with the Union. Thousands of lives were lost on both sides of the battle. And this flag, Mr. Speaker, this Confederate battle flag was their symbol. It was their flag. The southern states lost the war. The states then rejoined the Union. President Lincoln then proposed a 13th Amendment, legally ending slavery. That amendment, Mr. Speaker, passed this Congress on January 31st, 1865. And, and finally, it was ratified by Georgia on December 6, 1865. And during the period of ratification, President Lincoln was assassinated. For the next 50 years, 50 plus years, every black person living in the South faced the possibility of lynching. More than 4,000 blacks were lynched between 1890 and 1950. 136 black people were lynched in South Carolina. But though the, there are some now who want to continue to honor slavery and to honor bigotry in this house, this House, Mr. Speaker, must not be complicit. The horrific shooting in Charleston, South Carolina, was an example of a 21st century lynching. The manifesto left by the Charleston killer stated, quote, I have no choice. I am not in the position to go to alone, go into the ghetto and fight. I chose Charleston because it is the most historic city in my state and at one time had the highest ratio of blacks to whites in the country. He was right, 57%. We have no skinheads, we have no real KKK, anything but talking on the internet. Well, someone has to have the bravery to take it to the real world, and I guess that has to be me. End of quote. Mr. Speaker, bigotry continues to exist in this country. This Congress should not pass any legislation today or any other day that would embolden those who continue to hold racist beliefs. The Calvert Amendment, the Calvert Amendment is misguided and it emboldens bigotry. I ask my colleagues, Democrat and Republican, respectfully, let's defeat the Calvert Amendment this afternoon. And even if the gentleman would consider to withdraw his amendment and not put this House through this turmoil today. Thank you. I yield back.